This illusion is one of the classics of magic, dating back more than 100 years. The magician will use this curiously constructed cabinet and this remarkably constructed girl. She brightens up even this brightly colored illusion. What's this? Sunglasses. Better lay off the compliments. This girl has already gone Hollywood. The magician opens the three doors on the front of the cabinet, but the assistant isn't too big a star to step inside. Although she might be a little too big to fit. As he closes the doors, we can see that the cabinet is actually made of three separate boxes stacked on top of one another. One last look at Miss Hollywood, and the final door is locked. Down below, we can see that a hole allows her foot to stick out from the bottom box. This is so we can keep an eye on her whereabouts at all times. All the doors are locked and checked one last time. A tap on her foot ensures that she hasn't gone anywhere. Now for the magic. With a little effort, the magician slides the lower blue box to one side, separating the girl's legs and feet from the rest of her body. What a shame. Everything was in perfect working order. We can see that her foot is still moving, so all might not be lost. Next, the magician lifts the red top box, removing the girl's head and shoulders and dividing her into three separate but equal sections. He places this red box on the floor until he decides what to do with it. Seems like he could have come up with a better exit strategy than this. There's nothing above the green middle box and nothing below, proving that the girl is divided in three. Next, he places the red box on top of the blue. This isn't the way it goes, but let's see where he's going. He opens a door in the red box to reveal the girl's head and shoulders looking as Hollywood chic as ever. Down below, her foot is still tapping away. I wonder if behind those dark glasses, she knows what's happening to her out here. Next, the magician takes the red box and plans to return it back where it belongs. But not yet. He's not done playing moving man. He places the red box next to the blue one. Keep an eye on the blue box. Her foot is still tapping. And inside the red box, well, there's the girl giving us a wave. The magician decides they've played around enough and it's time to set things straight. He removes the red box and places it back on top of the green one. Yep, that's where it goes. Next, he reaches down and gives the girl's foot a tap to let her know he's going to push the blue box back into position. Now we're back where we started. But what about the girl? Hope she's OK. The doors are unlocked. There's Miss Hollywood, back in one glamorous piece and ready for the red carpet. Okay, masked man, show us how you did it. The secret to making a girl go head over heels involves careful choreography and an assistant who is also a contortionist. When the illusion begins, the assistant steps into the cabinet. 
There is a hole in the bottom box so we can see her foot for the entire time. It appears that we are watching her be sliced in three when the boxes are separated. But when we open the blue box, we can see that the assistant is carefully and completely squeezed inside. As soon as the magician closes the cabinet, she curls down into the bottom box and closes a secret panel above her head. Her whole body is now concealed inside the bottom box and the hollow base of the unit. When the box is slid to the side, it appears that her legs and feet have been separated from her body. But how do her head and shoulders appear in the red box when it is placed on top of the blue? Simple. You'll notice that the magician is careful that we don't see the bottom of the red box. That's because there isn't one. Remember the secret panel the assistant lowered above her head? It easily folds out of the way so the assistant can reveal her head and shoulders above the blue box. With the red box in place, the illusion is believable and we're convinced her head and shoulders have been inside all along. But now, how does she get her head and shoulders into the box when it is next to her feet? Hidden inside the red box is a photo replica of the girl, complete with fake hair and matching sunglasses. Here we can see that the photo of the girl is merely mounted on a foam board and dressed up with a wig and glasses. The next secret is in the side of the red box. It's made of flexible plastic so the assistant can easily fold it up and reach inside. The side of the blue box is exactly the same. The girl stays inside the blue box, lifts the plastic sides, and reaches into the red one. Once the red box has been slid into place, the assistant reaches in, removes a black cloth concealing the fake head, and snaps it into position. The identical hair and glasses, along with the assistant's real hand, are enough to make us believe we're seeing the real thing. For the quick moment the box is open, the effect is pretty convincing. The magician appears to reassemble the girl by putting the boxes back into their original positions. Before he opens the doors, the assistant stands back up, completing the illusion that she's been divided in three and put back together by magic. But we know the secrets involve complex choreography and a bendable babe.